Hey team, today we're going to talk about environment variables. We're going to go over what they are and how you can use them in a Gatsby and Netlify project. I'm Colby Fayok, and if this is your first time watching, make sure you click subscribe for future updates. Environment variables are an important part of an application workflow. They let you help keep configuration secret or just make it configurable from the outside of an application. For example, if I wanted to have a secret key for my authorization, I can load that key in an environment variable file and then my code can use it. To demonstrate this, we're gonna use Gatsby and particularly this Gatsby SaaS starter that I created to make it easy to bootstrap the project. And once we have that together, we're gonna to deploy it to Netlify where we're also going to set up our environment variable. So to get started, let's create our Gatsby project. So we're gonna say Gatsby new my env projects with the URL and let it do its thing. And once it's finished, let's CD into that project and let's run our Gatsby develop and we can now see our site. So by default, Gatsby provides two ways of providing environment variables. It's the env development file and the env production file. The env development file is gonna be for when you use Gatsby develop, whereas the env production is gonna be when you run Gatsby build. So in our project directory, we wanna create a new file called env.development that we'll use. So let's add a variable, let's call it Gatsby my environment. And let's set it to development. If you also notice here, we prefixed it with Gatsby that allows us to use it in both the client and the actual process. After you create this variable, you wanna make sure you hit one crucial step. We wanna open up our git ignore file or create one if it doesn't already exist. And we wanna add this to our list of files that will get ignored by git. Environment files typically contain more sensitive information like access keys. Those are something you definitely don't want exposed on GitHub or any other service provider. So if you see this before and after, we see originally we could see our M development file in the untracked files, but now since we added it to our git ignore, you can no longer add it to the branch. So to test that it's working, let's change the title of the page to hello. Then let's say process and Gatsby my environment. And then to actually load this environment variable up, we need to stop our server and restart it. So let's do that now. And once that's started, we can open up our page again. And we can see hello development. Okay, so now that we have this in development, we need to put it on GitHub and deploy to Netlify. Here I set my project up in GitHub so it's ready to connect to Netlify. So in Netlify, I'm going to select my project. So lucky for us, Netlify automatically pulls in the Gatsby build settings. But let's also click show advanced and click add new variable. We're going to say Gatsby my environment, if I spell it right. And let's set that to production. Finally, hit deploy site. And once it's done, we see that it says published. We can open that up. And we see hello production. So if you follow along with me, you just learned how to use environment variables by creating a Gatsby site and deploying it to Netlify. This will become increasingly important as you work through projects that require access keys for services like AWS or anything else. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. And make sure you check the description for more resources to learn. Thanks for watching.